Hi, my name is Justin from justicegood.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a gradient colored photo effect. Alright, so we're in Photoshop and a quick tip before we start is to choose a photo with a lot of highlights or white in it. It's going to help our final effect. So keeping that in mind, there's only two simple steps that we need to take. First, head over to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Black and White. This is going to get our photo ready to turn it into a color. So while we're here, we can do a few quick adjustments if you need to. You can actually just click on this little finger button here. Now we can head over to our photo with the ink dropper. We can click, and if we drag to the right, we can tell Photoshop, make these colors lighter. And then we can click somewhere else, and then we can drag to the left and say, make these colors darker. So that's just a quick way to add some contrast without really playing around with the sliders manually. Really useful tip. All right, so once you've got your black and white, the next step we're going to do is go to Layer, New Fill Layer, Gradient. And here's where we're going to create the gradient color. For the mode, make sure you set it to Multiply. That's very important. And then select OK. Now Photoshop has a lot of presets. Um, and we're just going to use one of those for these for this tutorial but if you want you can make your own by just clicking here and then clicking on the different color tabs and making your own so there's a million different ways you can take this tutorial for from here but I'm gonna go ahead and click my cog wheel right here I'll select the preset Photoshop category color harmonies 2 should be in all your photoshops and then I'll select this gradient right here, this kind of purple bluish one. So the next step is placing and adjusting the gradient where you like. So first is the style. You can go linear, which is just in a straight line, radial, angle. You can play around with these. So I'll select angle here. And then also you can do you can adjust the actual angle, so which way you want the colors to rotate. Um, I want the, the bluish, greenish, purple fade right there. And then you can adjust the scale, which is how spread this is. This doesn't really affect anything on angle, but if you're using linear, you can notice they get wider or thinner. Next step is while you have your gradient fill tool open, you can actually just click and drag and position your gradient wherever you want. So here's where I'm just going to take that angle I made position this little harsh point where all the colors meet just a little bit outside the canvas and then adjust the angle to my liking. Also if you notice that that little bit of quality loss and banding when your gradient spreads too far make sure you check the dither button that blends things together. Really useful tip there as well. So go ahead and select OK and that's really your final effect. So there's a million different color combinations and gradient styles you can use and you can even use a solid color fill layer if you want but the reason this effect looks so good is because now if I go to add any type of text or detail like for example if I create a new layer I go ahead and, and click select all and then I right click and stroke uh, and then I use the color white and I'll use inside any solid white details kind of pop on this photo because what we did originally is, was we took all the whites out of the original photo. So it's really good for like poster design or website design or any type of like advertising work. I'm sure you'll see this on any type of like retail stores or like online shops that maybe if they're having a sale they'll put some pictures up like this and then they'll put the writing in white. So play around with it, hopefully you learned something in this tutorial, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more. Um, like this video if you liked it, and leave me a comment if you had any questions. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it's all just this good, J-U-S-T-T-H-I-S-G-O-O-D, um, to stay up to date with me in the form that you'd like. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.